The Pine Squirrel Nymph Start with a 7 64th of an inch gold bead. Brass is fine, but tungsten is usually better. Go to an Umpqua 101 size 14 1x long nymph hook and mash the barb down with flat jawed pliers. Thread the bead small hole first through the hook. Then, place the hook set firmly in the vise. Now go to some .015 lead-free round wire. Bring it to the hook. While securing the tag end, make about 8 wraps up towards the bead. Helicopter attached the attached end off and push down the tag end. Then push all the wraps up into the bead. Load a bobbin with 8 dot olive thread. Start your thread behind the weighted wraps and wrap back securing the tag end before cutting it off. Now make a thread base while securing the weighted wraps. Go to an olive pine squirrel zonker strip. On the hair side of the hide, go ahead and make a pinch. Use your pinch as a measurement for the amount of hair needed for the tail of the nymph. Then with scissors, cut it close to the leathered hide. Then strip out all the short fibers and under fur. Bring the fibers up to the hook and measure your tail about one half the hook shank in length. Then bring it to the back of the end with the points of the guard hair sticking past the bend of the hook. And tie it directly on top of the hook behind the lead wire. Once secure, Go ahead and cut the excess off. Now go to some small gold wire. Acquire a piece about 5 inches in length. This will make numerous flies. Tie the tip of the wire on the near side of the hook, right behind the bead. Go to some olive SLF pine squirrel dubbing and get a pinch free. 
and kind of spread it out. With the dubbing, make a dubbing noodle on your thread. It should taper down towards the hook. Push the dubbing up towards the end of the thread connecting to the hook and start making touching wraps up the body of the fly to where you almost reach the back end of the bead. If you have excess dubbing, go ahead and take it off. Using the dubbing in this way, you will create a tapered body tapered up towards the head of the fly. Now take your wire and counter wrap it about five times up the dubbed body until you reach the back of the bead or the thread. Once you reach the thread, go ahead and secure the wire, bring your bobbin up and helicopter it off. Now go to some dark brown SLF squirrel dubbing. Grab a slightly smaller pinch and spread it out. Now make a dubbing noodle again. This will be smaller and it does not need to be tapered. Make a couple wraps, about four to five good, to make a bushy thorax. Then, in front of the dubbed thorax, go ahead and whip finish your thread. You can cut off your thread and end the fly here if you want. But I like to take a dubbing brush and kind of tease out all the fibers to make it even more buggy. This is one of my favorite winter flies. You can even tie it on a balanced style jig hook. It just works all over. And that's it. That's the fly.